All right, we are going. So I spoke about this in a previous video, uh, but I realized that I did not um, uh, do anything specific uh, for this topic. So I wanted to uh, take care of this really quick. Uh, this is all about uh, partial rentals, okay? Um, how this comes about is that I'll meet someone who has persons living in their home, um, but they're not on their uh, tax return as dependents. And so the question um, becomes, well, if they're not your dependents, why are they in your home? Um, and what I found out is, is that a lot of times it may be an adult child who, who lives at home. It may be a family member. It may be a friend. Uh, there's many scenarios uh, that come into play as to why someone uh, may be living in, in someone else's home uh, that are not their dependents, okay? They're not their, their, their small children, basically. And so what I recommend in these situations uh, is a partial rental uh, as a way to help reduce uh, your tax liability, but also to capture some of the added costs um, that, that come from having other people uh, in your home, you know, utility costs, maintenance costs, repair costs, um, even, you know, having a bigger place to accommodate uh, those additional people um, uh, happens sometimes. And so the partial rental allows you to deduct uh, those home expenses uh, for that purpose. So what you're looking at right now, just a, a quick definition of what um, a partial rental is. Uh, it's, you know, any home that you currently live in as your home that you're also renting out a part of it too, okay? Um, any home that you're living in is considered a home you live in if you live there for 14 days or more uh, for the year, okay? Uh, let's see here. All right, so uh, what I want to talk about really quick uh, concerning this uh, is the minimal uh, rental use. This is called the Augusta Rule. Uh, Augusta, Georgia hosts a PGA tournament every year, and the people in Augusta, Georgia like to rent out their uh, places um, for, um, you know, people attending the event. The IRS says that if you do not rent your home for more than 15 days a year, you do not have to report the rental income. OK, uh, this is really important for those who may have corporations or partnerships because the corporation or partnership can rent your home or your garage or a room or storage uh, from you personally and, and pay for that. The general rule of thumb is about four thousand uh, dollars max. OK, um, so imagine the corporation partnership uh, paying four thousand dollars, deducting it on the corporate partnership tax return, um, but you personally do not have to report that rental income because it was rented for fewer than 15 days. Okay, so that's that. Um, want to talk a little bit about uh, what allows um, these uh, uh, home expenses to be deductible, okay? Uh, I'm sure you have heard or someone has told you that, you know, rental um, uh, activities uh, are not deductible. Uh, it only offsets other passive income, uh, but that's not the case if you actively participate in the rental uh, um, um, business basically, right? So if you are the person who makes all the decisions uh, for the home, if you're the one that provides repairs or you, um, you know, call the repair person to come out, um, if you're the one that's making the agreement with the tenant, you actively participate in the rental activity and therefore you are able to deduct um, a portion of your um, home expenses like mortgage interest, real estate taxes, utilities, uh, repairs, maintenance, all of those things that you can think of uh, that comes to maintaining a home, you're able to deduct a, a portion of that, okay? Uh, this is just a really uh, quick example, um, but I think it's, it's really good to illustrate the point. Uh, Mike is single, had following income and losses for the year, salary 42,000, he has some dividends and some interest, and he has a rental loss down here of $4,000. Now, the rental loss was from a rental of a house that Mike owned. He advertised that he rented the house uh, to the current tenant himself. He also collected the rents, which usually came by mail. All repairs were either made or contracted out by Mike. Although the rental loss is from a passive activity, because Mike actively participated in the, in the rental property management, he can use the entire $4,000 loss to offset his other income. And it's really important um, uh, that uh, that 
uh, phrase there, his other income. So what that means is, is he can offset his W-2 wages. He can offset his business uh, income, okay, um, with this rental uh, property loss, all right? Now, uh, what we need to talk about is um, really how to construct this and how this works, okay? Now, understand that um, in, in many situations, like I said, adult children, family members, uh, friends, uh, neighbors sometimes, right? Um, they're living with you, and it may not always be that they're paying uh, cash rent for living there. You know, it may be that they're exchanging some service. You know, I've heard of people uh, giving child care. Um, um, as as a exchange uh, for for living uh, somewhere or uh, transportation to and from work, you know. Um, I've I've talked to people who have said that so and so lives with me, um, but uh, they put food in the house, right? They're they're buying all the food, you know. Um, there's many scenarios. Uh, I remember talking to someone who uh, uh, made an agreement with someone that they could live rent free, um, but they were to uh, do repairs uh, to, to the home. They were to paint. They were to, you know, I don't know, fix a wall or whatever. Right. The important thing to remember here is that if they're not exchanging even if they're exchanging cash uh, or services, uh, it must be fair market value, which means that they have to pay the usual amount of rent for your particular place. And it's really easy to figure out what that is. You can simply go online to figure out what a home in your neighborhood is renting for. OK, if you are um, um, if you are renting yourself. OK, well, then it's simply going to be a percentage of the actual rent. So if your rent is a thousand dollars a month and you're renting out one room, uh, then that means the rent would be somewhere around $200. Um, you know, you can get really specific on how to calculate that. Um, you have to think of, you know, you're renting out one room, but you're also really renting out, um, you know, use of the kitchen, use of the bathroom, use of the, the common areas, right? Um, so you can get really specific on on uh, the percentage you come up with uh, to figure out uh, what your deductions are. But at the end of the day, um, you can easily deduct, like I said, 20, 30 percent of that thousand dollars a month um, as a tax deduction. And keep in mind, like I said before, uh, that two hundred dollars uh, has to be either cash or uh, uh, exchange uh, for services. OK, so it has to be reasonable, like you can't pay someone ten uh, thousand dollars to paint one wall. Right. It doesn't work that way. So it has to be reasonable. Um, but. Um, it is allowed, okay? And so you want to make sure that you are renting fair market value. Uh, you don't have to have an elaborate uh, lease agreement. Uh, it is a good idea to have things in writing, of course, right? Um, just so everyone involved has an understanding um, of exactly what's expected, right? And, and when it's expected. Um, but it doesn't need to be anything more than that, honestly, especially if you're dealing with someone that you're familiar with. Um, so, I think that that pretty much uh, illustrates it here. Um, uh, just the bottom of this thing um, just, you know, again, talks about uh, property or services. Um, and, and that's another thing, too. Um, you know, I remember I remember one time someone told me that um, they allowed the person to use their car while they lived with them. Um, so, again, we're talking about an exchange of property right or or use of property um, all those things um, can can um, can be evaluated um, to come up with a number uh, for the rent and then again like I said once you have that rental income now you have your rental expenses uh, that you can use uh, to deduct your um, your income and reduce your tax liability all right from me to you uh,